For more than 30 years, the International Whaling Commission has been locked in a fight. Its job is to protect whales pushed close to extinction. Yet three countries, Norway, Iceland and Japan, have pursued the right to hunt them. Late last year, Japan argued there was scientific proof some species had recovered enough to allow sustainable hunting. And it pushed again for the 1986 ban on commercial whaling to be lifted. When the Whaling Commission rejected Japan's proposal, Japan withdrew, and its whaling fleet is preparing to resume hunting minke as well as beaked whales. But when the fleet returns to the water, some things will be different. Japan says it will only hunt in its territorial waters, not the open seas of the Antarctic and North Pacific, where it has, until now, been hunting for scientific research. And it's not clear whether there'll even be a market in Japan for the whale meat the ships bring to shore. Consumption in Japan has plummeted from around 200,000 tonnes each year in the 60s to just 5,000 tonnes each year over the last five. That could be due to the changing tastes of a new generation, but changing attitudes to hunting whales are likely a factor too. And things at the International Whaling Commission will also be different. Japan's departure has arguably left it weakened. But after a more than three-decade fight over commercial whaling, it's now free to concentrate on what it was originally formed to do. Commercial whaling is now back on the list of threats to the world's whales. But there too is a climate crisis that's already adversely impacting the oceans and marine life within them. A looming threat that could well eclipse them all.